V. V, I would say, is less likely to become a sociopath. Because I think that overall, like I've been hinting at and saying, society would improve based on the economic conditions and the political conditions being better for people. People would have more time to work on human relationships and how they treat each other. Like, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you don't have time to think about that kind of shit. About like, how can I be a better person? How can I be more respectful? How can I take the time to listen to somebody else's perspective? Put myself in, in that person's shoes. You don't have time to think like that because you're just, you know, you're just chasing the wheel. Like, and I think, you know, the, the things that lead to sociopathy or to be the kind of person that V is, I, it's very complicated. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's deep. It's a person who's affected by their genetics, biology, and also by their environment. And I think probably the biggest environmental factor that shapes what people become in their personalities is how you're treated by other people. And like I'm saying, I think human relations would improve over time under socialism. So based on that, I think it's less likely she'd become a sociopath. I also think that, you know, the fields of psychology and social work would be improved and it would be more likely that her kind of behavior and her problems, whatever she had when she was growing up, because V is kind of a mystery, frankly. We don't really know that much about why she became the way she became and what motivated her or whatever. Like, I think a lot of that would be caught when she was younger and there'd be a better chance that she wouldn't become the way she did. But even if she did, she could run a legitimate drug business without being imprisoned. And, you know, similarly, Tasty could work for her and not be a criminal also.